Hey everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is the culture study where we check out K-pop music videos and I give you my thoughts and reactions on them as both a video producer, a lifelong K-pop fan, and as a Korean American. Hi guys, it's nice to meet you. My name is PD, welcome to the channel. And hello, I'm Blair. And today, I'm so excited. I love Billy. Oh, We're you checking do. out Billy's Unoya? I don't know how it's, I don't know how that's pronounced. Unoya? I don't know. Unoya? Yeah. Wait, I, so you love Billy because you have never once uh vocalize this out loud to me ever it's i it's a very back and forth why for me with billy i don't really know like some of their songs i like and mm -hmm. some of them i'm like i don't know i think it was was it ring my bell yes it's their last comeback that i was like i'm sorry what yeah well it's just phenomenal it's a phenomenal just one of the best yeah so i'm very excited to see how they mm. continue from mm. that okay Okay, uh, but that's about it for your Billy exposure then. Oh, isn't yeah. It? yeah. yeah. Not, nothing like crazy, nothing too deep. Mm, okay, well, uh, I don't know what to expect with this comeback, but I'm sure it will be strange as it uh, tends to be with Billy in whatever way. Um, but before we get into the video, real quick, if you would like to support the channel, remember you could always support us over on our Patreon. Uh, depending on how much we like this, we might do bonus drops for it, we might not. I will let you know later on in this video. So uh, if you are interested, we have our April schedule available on our YouTube community post uh, or on our Patreon publicly. Um, it is gearing towards the end of the month, so I would suggest uh, to join in May just because there will be new content and then you can still check out the content we put out this month. But guys, uh, remember you can always support us for free if you don't want to support us monetarily by simply subscribing or commenting down below. That is the best and only way to su support the channel for free. So yeah, we would really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. This is Unoya. Uh, Unoya. Unoya. Th this video will tell us probably. They should tell us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and this is your form of therapy. No, this, this, is, this is the intro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every time I was like, wait. Me up. Oh, oh, I love the look of this video. What the? What the? What? Can you hear me? Let's go. Don't let it make a solution about the unknown motivation. I'm 
끝에서 내게 끄여신 널 향해 손뻗어 always Oh yeah Sweet baby I'm fine 감정을 막아 터트 it like a firework 그리고 제가 반짝하고 사라질 천라의 yeah. 순간을 담아 You and I till we die uh -huh. Read them out to clean Been a club that won't see my eyes 속에 rap big 거리거린 in the bottom line 여기 쏟아진 기억에 조각 그녀는 왜 약한 attack time Give me a sec. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Wow. What the what the heck did you think? That was very I'm shocked. Yeah. I don't I clearly can't make full sentences yet. Uh, <laughs> well, what were you thinking? What was going through your mind when you were reacting? It was a lot of... I think I, I was blown away by how beautiful it looked. Yeah. It had this very soft... Yeah, it was just a very soft video. I think it... Like, it was just so beautiful, and their voices are just so beautiful. And it was very enchanting. Mm. And it was very almost ethereal. It's, it's yeah, it, it felt like, very otherworldly. I know, in that way. yeah, there's yeah. like another word that I'm not thinking of, but like. It, it's. The reason why that word is hard to think of is that's kind of Billy's charm. It's very Billy. Billy always makes my head hurt in the best <laughs> way possible. Um, they get they they make me. I I like so much of their stuff is like. It's not weird for the sake of being weird. It's like there's like an abstract nature to it as well. But at the same time, there is a hard concept. But they kind of also mishmash a couple different things so then it, it comes out a little bit more abstract mm -hmm. there's the otherworldliness i think really stems from how this is shot versus the sound as you said uh, what, what did you say about their voices it just sound they just sound very soft and ethereal and so you said they sound soft and ethereal whereas but then you said uh the video was like very enchanting right mm -hmm. so that's largely drawn from the fact that this is shot like very very dramatic like the, it, dramatically um uh, i can get into that uh in our second watch through but it's shot very very dramatically uh it is shot in probably one of the most beautiful beautiful uh cinematographies i've seen in a long long time uh it's like something out of a movie it is like something out of honestly like a netflix drama or a show 
uh, but like done to like a more slightly artistic level as well. Mm -hmm. Like somewhere between, it's like, uh, like all of us are dead, but like a, still a little bit more film, like a bit of a film look to it. But there's mm -hmm. like this weird blend in between. There is a very certain look for this, but I can't remember what are, what it reminds me of. But even just that, like making it look dramatic and making it look way more serious. Like I think even their um, Ring My Bell video did not look like this. Uh, mind you, all of their videos do have like a very, uh, I would say, harsh cinematic lighting sort of look to it uh, from their debut music video. Uh, that's always definitely been present, but I would say this one, there's a, there's an additional layer there. The harsh lighting is only reserved for like those gymnasium dance scenes. And then if you notice the school scenes, they're shot mostly all natural lighting and it's shot in a very dreamy way. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I didn't know if that was all natural lighting. It just seemed so, I mean, they're, they're, so they're soft and they're, so. they're definitely using like bounce boards and then they're going in uh, post-production and then softening up their skin. But you're saying it's mostly it, the lighting, natural lighting. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Um, uh, making use of natural lighting or making it look as nat uh, natural as possible. Like uh, the shot of uh, her right here, this could easily be like, if you see like her hands, there's actually an additional light right here. It could be a reflector. There's, I doubt it's an actual physical light. It could be a reflector or it could just be the natural lighting of the situation. If you look at, they're in a classroom, right? So there's all this exposed lighting everywhere. Mm. Uh, but the way that- Oh, they're not seeing what we're seeing. Oh, they're not, sorry. <laughs> um, so like uh, this part right here on the hand. And this is why she's here. Uh, she sometimes reminds me of that. Uh, but uh, this right here, Again, that could just be the natural rim light from the backdrop, or it could be someone uh, aiming a reflector at mm. her as well. Um, uh, but because it's not so harsh that it's obvious. Yes, yes. But if you look at the music video scenes, notice how it's mm. very harsh direct lighting, um, and uh, like right here as well. So Billy also has like uh, yeah, only the gymnasium scenes. Like they try to look. Uh, completely natural in any daylight stuff. They they don't try to, but it's tied together well through the cinematography, but they don't try to make it quote unquote look like a music video during these portions. You know what I mean? Mm. And so that's probably what gives it that extra otherworldly feeling too, is that there are two very drastic uh, lighting concepts in this music video and they are very, very opposing of each other. Mm -hmm. But they make, they tie it together really well because they have a very unique cinematography look for the video as well. They have that soft, dreamy look in both scenes. Mm -hmm. And so like, but then the weirdest part here is, it, the weirdest part has to definitely be the fact that during these dance scenes is how they dance. It's so... Even that right there, that was so cool. Oh, the edit right there is so well timed. That boom, and as they're coming out like that, that's so Whoa. well done. Notice how. Notice how even in these scenes. Uh, they try to make it seem more natural. There's a sort of like a lens flare over here. The lighting could be directly on them, but they're using backlighting. This is a cinematic filming technique where you light the rim of somebody and you purposely leave their faces slightly unlit. That is what makes something look more cinematic and more movie-like. Mm. Uh, look out for some movies uh, when you guys watch, uh, especially like a a highbrow movie or something like that. Uh, sometimes they go for this style, like to make it look more natural. Um, but you could do that with daylight stuff, which is what they were doing earlier. Mm. And uh, here, not the case. It's lit like a quote unquote K-pop music video. And yet at the same time, it's not. They, they don't have like a main key light that's lighting anybody at the front. Like everyone's still like, mostly you can't see them, which, Oh, I, I don't know why they went for that look. It's 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 not a bad thing. It's just like wow. I'm it looks like just like the sides of them are lit and then the back. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, it, that might just be for the dance scene actually. Oh, not here. Uh, yeah, because yeah. they can't get full coverage of how many people are there. 
But yeah, here there's this harsh light and like the lore for Billy is like they're looking for Billy. And this is where I get confused. I'm like, who is Billy? And then like it's like, did Billy die? And like <laughs> um this is like the first confirmation I, I'm seeing anyways that like, oh shit. Like there's like um in the lyrics of like their albums and stuff, it, it makes you go like, What the fuck happened? Like like, mm. like what happened? Like like basically Billy is missing and they're looking for Billy. And now, like, I don't know. They're, like, slowly expanding on the lore just a little bit. They sneak into this house and they see themselves. And there's a police siren. I I don't know. Uh, but hmm. that's kind of, like, the concept of it. I don't understand how the rest of this video ties into that. Unless, no, no, no. Sion's in the shot. So, I I don't know. But uh, let's wa let's rewatch this video. Let's rewatch this video. I want to one hear this again and rewatch it again. Yeah, I need to hear it better. I was too mesmerized. You know, the more we get further into their comebacks, their label is called Mystic Story. Uh, it's Yoon Jung Shin's label. Um, this really feels like a mystic story. I was just like, about it's a to very say mystical. They have a very mystical concept. Mm -hmm. That hair color looks so good on Suha. If you, okay, now that like we've seen the video, when you pay attention to the lyrics, again, this is where the creepiness comes in. Maybe another version of me is breathing, motivation being awakened in me. Like, it doesn't seem creepy at first when you first hear it. But then after that ending, you're like... You're like, huh? Huh? Like, <laughs> everything makes you go like... Huh? Like, like... <laughs> You're like saying, huh? Like while hiding behind a blanket, you're yeah. like, what? Well, like literally she just said, when I hide my long regrets in the blanket. Oh. Did... So, oh, did she see herself? I mean, yeah, but like... So... I'm so confused what's happening. Feels like Suyeon brought this owl into the school, right? Mm -hmm. Like this owl, like they talk about like, I'm blue, you're purple, something like that. And she's wearing those pins in her. I wonder if she's like the carrier, uh, the catalyst for all this. And how the owl starts out as like a little thing and then it gets huge. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I, I. It gets huge by the end of the video. I, I don't remember anymore. Was. Oh, hold on. It looked like that owl was trying to go infect her, but she was like resisting. And then he. And then the owl saw. It's just like new target acquired. Yeah, like. yeah, exactly. And then, like, heartbeat. Her. That's what threw me off right here. This is when I started noticing the choreography. When 
I believe it's Suki. Yeah. Oh, is that no? That's not Suki. Um, this part right here. Like the way they come in. Like like with the. Like the, the, the this and then this is like it's like whoa this is like very old like 70s 80s funk type stuff yeah like right here. like the like the like this i wouldn't think anything of it like like the this it's like okay maybe it's just like a cool move but then the way she does this and then it leads into like, like all those moves combined just seem very very just like very funky you know what I you know what I mean like with the this kind of thing it's kind of moves you see a lot of boy groups do yeah but it doesn't seem like oh they're doing a boy group move it seems more like they're just being faithful to like not even faithful it just seems like a weird inclusion but it works somehow yeah with that, it, there's a very only a small funk element to this song but they're like we're gonna hone in on that and then make that our choreography and like and it works and it makes it weirder yeah but it, it makes it like so like I can't look away. Yeah. Again, you get mesmerized, but <laughs> yeah. you're like, what is yeah. going on? But I yeah. can't look away. Yeah. love how they do that they they did it the first time and like she was kind of like oh like this but then i love how that literally feels like an anime character the way they edited this and the timing of it like that oh the slow-mo that they hit right mm. when she does this pose <sighs> i think that's oh. i think that's an edit on the flash they do a quick edit oh is it not is it just the white flash let me take a look real quick. So flash. Oh no. Oh, it is a cut. It's like, like they skip a frame. They skip like two frames. Mm. They... Instead of like, so in the editing, instead of like, there's this footage of her doing this, they didn't cut it in the middle, split it, put the white flash in it, and it continues. The white flash like replaces on top of the edit. Does that make oh. sense? So it's skipping the amount of frames that the white flash lasts. And so because like the white flash covers a certain amount of even the timing, it suddenly looks like it, it skips and jumps ahead just a little. Mm. This part right here. All these shots they filmed right here. This is like... That shot of fucking Sua right there. That fucking rack focus right there. The way they slowly... Did you, did you notice how she's slightly out of... She's slightly out of view. Ever so slightly, see? Oh. Uh -huh. Everything's just slightly blurry. It's very dreamy. Yes, yeah, slowly comes into She's focus. She's waking up, you're waking up. Yeah. The scattered fragment of a sentimental memory is... Oh. And then this. Okay. So you know what uh, also has that extra dimensional feel to it that mm. you were talking about? So most of the music video, uh, do, you, do, you know this, do you notice the aspect ratio? 
So they play with the aspect ratio a lot. So the aspect ratio being what we call the black bars uh, on the videos. It's usually what makes something look cinematic. There are certain moments of the video where... Not here. Mm. So up until this point, it's all a cinematic aspect ratio, actually. And so... This is the world you showed me. You colored my five senses on these lyrics right here. You colored my five senses. The the scratching um, sound. The they transition. Takes out the, uh, they literally take you into another dimension. And it's it's literal. And this is where the lighting takes the most drastic turn. Their outfits are the most drastic change. Well. Now, if you notice, the black bars are gone. Day, yeah. do that something. Oh. It's... They said they're, hmm. I, listen, I don't understand the Billy lore, okay? <laughs> but if, Sion said something interesting of like, maybe there's another version of me breathing, right? Mm. If it is maybe even alternate dimension stuff, this is like the alternate, ver, ver, di, alternate version of, versions of them, basically. Oh, anyway, uh -huh. I'm not saying that's exactly what it is, but it is the clear signaling in the video that like, they're, they're the different... They're the different girls. They're yeah. Not, they're not the same girls mm -hmm. who's dressed in the school outfits and, and the way they're dancing, too. Mm -hmm. And so if you notice <laughs> this part where she's getting like with the sparkling. She looks like she's like she notices that better. Like this is the moment where heartbeat, heartbeat. This is when they got infected by the owl. They're reshowing these scenes again and it's opening up. And oh. it's almost like the the is it owl, like, yeah. The owl is waking them up, or the owl is opening them up, or taking them into a new world. So whatever it is, yeah, and it's like it's opening that. that dimension between the two of like by literally the removing the physical the, black yeah. barriers. Yes. See, notice when the it's not all the dancing that the black bars aren't there. It's some of them only. And uh, the lighting is not as drastic here, right? Mm. So this is when they're quote unquote not infected. And I don't know who, who this is supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be some like random girl. As in they're saying like, this is what the owl, like she's infected by the owl as well now. Mm. And like maybe they infect others, right? Mm -hmm. Like we become one, we become like a hive mind sort of like. Oh. Thing. And like if you hold me tight, like that, but there's like again, there's a creepy aspect to this song, sort of. And so maybe that's what it is. And notice, notice. I wonder if there's like this strange element of like I don't. Know, I'm not saying Suyun is like the bad guy here or anything, but like she brought this owl here. Like, what if like. Like by the end, like she's the new girl, right? Mm. And then they're all they're all hanging out here. They're all friends now. And like, what if the owl is the one that like it's like almost like, like to compare it to something more common, like a cupid shooting its bow at somebody. What if that's like what the owl is? But mm. like, and but it's like pulling in more friends, you know. And it says you're the only one precious person in the world. You. But they all feel that about each other. It's it's like when you and I become one. They're all becoming one. Oh. Like, yeah. Hmm. We'll all go well together, though. All go well. Not we'll go well together. We'll all go well together. Yeah. But you're the only precious one. You. It's like they're saying it to all of each other. Mm. And you know that part where they're all dancing. And she's, it's like, there's, it feels weirdly culty. You know, like, yeah, listen, yeah. Triple S and like uh, New Jeans have been doing that in videos. And I've never thought like, oh, that's creepy. They <laughs> made it feel creepy. Yeah. You know, it felt very ritualistic for some reason. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what it is, but like. <laughs> it feels like it, it feels creepy. I love it so much. And that's the problem. It's like they, 
They make the gamchikan element so good. It makes me like, oof, I wouldn't mind if I got sucked into this cult. Yeah, will you come into Will you come to me in this harsh world? And like the fact that the first shot, like these like beauty shots right here, these hero shots. The fact that she's first. The fact that she's first with the with the blue and the purple, like blue and the you know pink in this case, but purple whatever, standing out so much in the scene. Mm -hmm. It feels like she's the leader now. Yeah, like she, she feels like the like she the uh, head person in charge. Like of this she whole. assembled all of them, like or she's the one that pulled them all together. Like they're all following behind her, sort of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then this part right here, it, they say, will you come to me? In this harsh world, the only hand span of exit is who? I don't know what that means. The night of an exhausting day, at the end of it, you'll feel relaxed. Just something about that feels like I reach out my hand to you always. There's something creepy about like it, it's almost it's like creepy and alluring and Yes, like it's almost like are they the like are they the reason Billy disappeared? Like are they the ones that like like killed him? Or, or I'm not saying I'm not saying that's what you know that's what happened. It's just like there's there it's that kind of like unknown feeling that amb ambiguity of like what like are is, are they good guys or yeah like, are you gonna help good? me or, or hurt or, or me like, like yeah yeah it, it, it just it's too like i don't know i don't know how they do this i don't know how they do that it's all in the music video and it comes in like the design and the conceptual like marketing of the group mm. that may, you would not feel this way just listening to the song and its lyrics it's the video that 1,000% does this. Absolutely. And just even with the, the camera work, the oh, cinematography. Yeah, yeah, it, it's like they try to, like, this is Billy's best looking video yet. And it's like they tried way too hard to make this look good. But, like, in the sense that, like, they're trying to trick you. Mm. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, I reach out my hand to you always. It's like the I don't know like if to like they're me, making it look so good to just throw you off to like distract you from from, what's from really like, happening. Yes, exactly. Like exactly, exactly. What's really happening, which is the indoctrination. Yeah. I I'm not saying that's what's happening, but always, that's what it feels always. like. But we're not saying that's not what's happening. <laughs> The, what does that mean? The scattered fragment of a sentimental memory is... And then, when Suki comes in here, notice how the black bars, she pushes them away quite literally feels like she's breaking the fourth wall and mm. now there are no limits. Mm -hmm. And this dancing, like we talked about, such an old school style of dancing, but yeah. done to the most extreme max. Yeah. Like, you know, old- Like, like going like, all in. Yeah, old fashioned dancing can like, you know, like it could be easy, you know, depending on how you do it. Like they are going all in. They are like- Oh. They're putting power into it. Yeah. And they really ride the groove well. Like the like the when they like the this thing, like they really, really hit that. Yeah. They 
got a call from Billy. The way that echoes. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. <coughs> she got a call from Billy. She went in there. And at the beginning of the video, there was a text from Billy. And they were on the bus. Oh, okay. Hold on. So I don't know if this is important. She's wearing her school blazer in this one. In the shot when she walks in, she's not. I think they're all wearing their blazers in the previous shot. I don't know if that's relevant or not, but she's not wearing it. Mm. Hold on. What were those shots? <coughs> okay. Oh, it's just that. Okay. It's very creepy editing. Are they seeing themselves? Oh, wait, what is happening? Yeah. Text from Billy? Where? Right there. Go back. Forward. Go slowly. Go forward. I think it's pretty close to past this. Such a nice groovy song in the beginning, and it goes yeah, that it takes us such an uh, I have no idea what that's like. it's so tiny. It's so tiny. I can't see it at all. Yeah. But oh what the heck does that mean? See, look, hmm. at, look at the different logos popping up. I was just about to ask about those. I can't remember if these are like their previous logos. It's a person with a zipped up mouth or just an open mouth and those are teeth. I don't know what that is. And it's a bunny with pearls, a cat. And, and now, now the owl. owl. Oh, I have no idea what that means. But my God, is that a fantastic comeback. My God, is that the perfect way to make a huh music video? That yeah. That is still Ugh. engrossing and a fantastic song regardless. But this is also one of those things like, God damn, I'm glad I watched the music video with this song first. You, I feel like will not get the same. Like Billy is one of those K-pop groups where it's like, always make sure you watch the K-pop music video that they present the song with because it will set the tone for how you feel about this song. And like, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sure on its own, you would not be feeling what we're currently feeling. Yeah, like they make the lyrics just so intentionally vague enough that it could sound purely positive. Yeah, but, it could sound really cute and yeah. upbeat. And you're like, yeah. oh, how yeah, adorable. Let's be like friends. But watching the video, it's like, oh. It is. Wow, it's a lot more... It's not that simple. Yeah, it's a lot more uh, ambiguous than that. Mm -hmm. I, I it, Billy always makes it like ambiguous. It's never quite clear cut. But, There's always um, an extra layer. Mm. With that in mind, what would you give the song and the music video? Um, I'm gonna give both a nine. Oh, I'm gonna give both a nine. Mm. I really like the video. Again, mm. it's very ethereal and i really like the almost creepy aspect mm. a lot mm. and then for the song itself also a nine mm. i really really like their voices mm. a lot mm. on this song and mm. just again how ethereal and how soft they sound mm. and then just like the hard rapping near the end to just give it to just cut that Mm. and just give it something new to like freshen it up or else it would just sound like a lot of the same yeah 
It yeah. really like broke that. It it's a very um, in that way, it's a very um, hypnotic, sed- seductive song. It's very re- earwormy. It's it's mm-hmm. very repetitive, or it can get there. It, it, I will say like. Just, it feels like just as it's about to get repetitive, that's when Sua's rap break comes in or any of the rap breaks come in and they really diversify it up. Mm-hmm. But even with the way the song starts and even like the funk element in it, it doesn't sound like this is all one song. Like, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. Whoever produced this is crazy. It's amazing. Absolutely. Um, but it all sounds fluidly like one song is what I'm yeah. saying. I'm not saying like, oh, this sounds like it doesn't match or fit. I'm saying like, why does this match? It? How does this fit together yeah, into does, one song? How does, how does, does it sound, flow so how well? Does this, yeah, flow so well. Exactly. Um, I would give the song a... Right now, it's a 9.5. It's so close to Ring My Bell for me. But Ring My Bell, it was like an instantly digestible um, banger reminder. This one makes me feel that weird thing that like their debut song made me feel. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this yet. And I would probably have to do a listening party to get a full. Um, That's where I'm at as well. Feeling on that. But uh, in terms of the music video, uh, I would say it's an 11 out of 10. This is the best music video I've seen them do ever. Uh, and just like the. I mean, it's not just like they're dancing. They, that they all go in on but they do go all in on the dancing and like that is part of honestly like my score for just like this overall comeback as well just like there's a great performance aspect to it but like they pour their heart out into the performance like 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 way too hard for like how light this song is and then the video too just like how they play with the aspect ratio the absolutely beautiful cinema uh cinematic lighting it or cinematic uh look of it um it's kind of overboard and I love it. And I love just the way they play between having really harsh, almost film-like cinematic lighting, but also having very, very natural lighting and yet not making this jarring on the audience's eyes to watch. It looks like one complete movie slash Yeah, it's not story. hard on the eyes. It's not hard on the eyes. And this is a video that could have very easily been hard, harsh on the eyes even uh, if that if this had been shot any other way. Hell, if this had been shot in like the way they had shot like their some of their previous videos, it might have been. But uh, just the way they made the cinematography much more dreamlike here definitely leaned into that. So 11 out of 10 for the video. Uh, I would give it a solid 10 out of 10 overall comeback score. Uh, it's, it's, wow. It's, it's my... Right now, second favorite and possibly my favorite comeback from them. I would have to listen to the album uh, to I really want to, to, to album. really conclude that. I'd love to know your I'd love to know your thoughts, guys, because for me, when you can really mix in a very weird, strange concept like this, that is what really takes me over the edge. You know, as good and uh, much more um, much more of a mainstream digestible song, "Ring My Bell" is. I always like songs and concepts and comebacks with uh, much more of a deeper, intricate uh, work put into it from like the pr- production team. And so I can I can really feel that in this one. And so uh, it, it's the most I've ever felt it in any of their stuff. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Of course, um, if you guys want to support the channel, as we uh, said before, you can visit our Patreon. We are definitely going to do a listening party for this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, in May. So if you want to join us in May, you should. Uh, if you, if not, if you don't want to check out bonus content with us, you can always just uh, like the video down below. You can subscribe uh, over here. Check out our other videos over here. And uh, remember, guys, uh, we will be uploading and releasing uh, every Tuesdays now at midnight uh utc utc global standard time so uh that's 9 a.m kst if if uh you want like a specific time but we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time bye